Carly Stevenson from Charles City was on a normal camping trip with her family last summer when she started to feel sick and was taken to the hospital. Now, months later, she has still not returned home. KCCI's Bo Bowman shows us her fight to survive when no one, not even a priest, thought she had a chance. There's a clergy sitting in our room waiting for us and told us that they are doing life-saving measures and she wasn't going to make it. That's the message doctors told Charles City's Michelle Stevenson and her family after their daughter, Carly, suffered a blood clot last July, a month before she was to start her freshman year at Wartburg College on the track team as a thrower. And even though she never made it to campus, Carly's coach and her teammates still keep a spot on the roster open for her. Her mother says that's what now inspires Carly in her physical therapy in Ankeny. It's kind of kicked in and she's just pushing herself because she's not happy where she is, so I know she's just going to keep progressing. There it goes. She has an innate drive that I think has gotten her to where she is now in her rehab process. Now, this is her weight room. Her new coaches, the occupational therapist at On With Life. They work with Carly daily on her balance, head control, communication, and arm and hand movements. Her doctors would be the first to tell you how hard she's working. She uses her whole body, she goes, um, she's up for the challenge, she wants to do more. Her strive for self-improvement is obvious, whether it's throwing a shot put or just keeping her head up. The dedication is what her mom says kept her alive when not even the surgeons expected her to live. She's such a driven person and she's amazing. The world needs more Carly's. Bo Bowman, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader. And a family friend created a Facebook page documenting Carly's time recovering. It's called Carly's Fight. They also have a GoFundMe and other local fundraisers. So far, they've raised more than $30,000. A remarkable story there by Bo Bowman.